What's up everybody? It's Miguel. Back again. Just kinda worried about that car. I didn't want him to cut early on the turn. I'm on my way uh, to Patterson Park. Patterson Park is in the city. On the east side, I live on the west side of Baltimore. And there's this thing that's happening today called um, Taste of Three Cities, if I'm not mistaken. Taste of Three Cities, and it's going on today. It's been going on since 12 o'clock. It is now 4.46, I don't know if you can see that. It's 4.46 in the afternoon. It started at 12 o'clock p.m. and it's going on until 9 p.m. Probably. And what happens at Tis the Three Cities, this is my first time going, but what happens there is that um, there's a bunch of food trucks that show up. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I know. I know it's a, I think it's some um, some shows, like some musicians there. Um, there's food trucks. And that's all I know. And it's gonna be at the, the park. And it's like $20 to get in at the at the gate. And it would have been cheaper if I would have did it earlier. But I didn't, so I gotta pay $20 when I get there. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a Artscape. If you looked at my Artscape video, not many people looked at it. But when I went to Artscape here in Baltimore, um, there's a whole bunch of people out and bunch of things to do and all that so if you want to know what it's like on Artscape stop this video pause it go check out Artscape and then come back to here look at Taste of Three Cities and then you know then you'll be able to see if it was sort of the same so you could do a little bit of research but yeah all right uh, I get back when when I'm there okay so I'm at Patterson Park. Patterson Park is to my right, where these guys are pushing the stroller. And, uh, I can't see where uh, Tasty Three Cities is. I can't even tell where it's at right now. Uh, okay, somebody's gotta have a gap here. Somebody, look at see, see my man over here. Got his joint in this the spot with the with the yeah the mains and the sands. No, I look a little too tired. Shoot, I know what I'm gonna do. Excuse me, do y'all mind if I park right there? Just like a slide a little bit, that's about it. You mean to tell me you drop this shit right there or you ride and you can't park like that? <laughs> no, y'all was sitting there. I don't want to like start backing up while y'all having a conversation. There you go. Okay, thanks. VIP. VIP parking. Damn, I got up. I only said that because it's short talk. <laughs> We got a no hidden face policy. So I don't know what's <laughs> uh, We got a. Um, what's your ID? I still got your ID. I'll give you this. Snap man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, have a good one, all right? I got my stamps. Stamp. Say it again. Pre bag. Pre bag. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. What's in it? Two picks. Thanks. Got some mints and two picks.
That lady right there. <clears throat> The little thing is over, little festivale, fest, festivales. Um, it, I, had, I took some video with my phone, so I'm gonna put that in the video. But it was a lot of different things. It was two, two uh, sections with um, stages, two, two stage sections. Um, one big stage, one smaller stage. Over by the small stage, there were uh, a section where people were dancing. Um, it was some like some some gymnastic stuff, pole dancing. Um, all kinds of stuff. So I recorded two of those things, but I didn't record all of it. There was also a guy that was doing uh, some dancing. He was doing like. He is b-boying slash electric boogaloo, a little bit of pop locking, you know, stuff like that. Actually, he wasn't b-boying, but he was pop locking and uh, doing some electric boogaloo and and some. Uh, well, he didn't do liquid hands, but he did some other stuff. And um, what else was there? A couple of those trucks sold all the food. So that was interesting. I got some Rita's uh, custard. I don't know if you guys get Rita's anywhere, but I know it's an East Coast thing. Um, I'm not a big fan of Rita's, but I did get it. Uh, then you got, we had some, I had some, uh, and then I had some, um, uh, macaroni cheese with um, pulled pork. Um, so it was mac and cheese on top, pulled pork in the bottom, and then they would in between it they would put like some type of sauce. It was okay. It was okay at the at the best of it. Um, it wasn't a lot of sauce on it, so maybe. Maybe that was the problem. They didn't have enough sauce, and that the sauce was supposed to was make it bang, because it was just like mediocre. But what I had, uh, sorry for all the noises, uh, but uh, but uh, I think the custard got me, got some mucus jumping off. So, I'm dealing with that right now. Also, I had for the first time in my life, um, they had a seafood truck, and that seafood truck had gator. So, I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm going to get me some of that damn gator right there. And that's what I did. I went and got me a gator sandwich. One of them good old boy gator sandwiches. And uh, it was okay once again. Once again, the food that I ate was just okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't fantastic. It wasn't horrible. It was just okay. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, right. It was just all right. So, um, that's all I had. Uh, and the and the gator, I was thinking it was going to be like a sandwich sandwich because it was a, a gator sandwich. So I'm thinking, because it's a gator sandwich, it's going to be in the form of like, let's say you have like a, a, a crab cake sandwich. You know, you get your little patty. You get your little peppermint patty. You get your little patty size. And then it's on a sandwich. It's on a bun. Okay, cool. 
So I'm thinking, get a gator sandwich. It's gonna be like some type of patty, you know what I mean? And then it's gonna be on the uh, it's on, a, on a bun. Um, on that potato bread. No, it was, it looked like a, it looked like a, Can't go up. It looked like a uh, like popcorn chicken type of look. You know, it looked like that. And for me, it was kind of surprising. So you know, I test one of them joints out. Like pop. I test one of them out. Tastes decent. It tastes like uh, now. I don't know if this is because of the the breading or whatever extra ingredients they had in it, but it tastes like like it was dunked in salt water or something. First off, it was like really salty, high in sodium. You know, um, I could taste that out the gate, and then it just it had some other kind of taste to it. It wasn't a bad taste. But I tell you, one of the things that kind of threw it off was this, the amount of salt. And I'm not, I'm not uh, as years went on, I'm not that much on salt or sugar as, you know, when I was a, a child. So, uh, when something's heavy in salt, it kind of gets to me. And something's heavy in sugar, it kind of gets to me. So, uh, the extra salt kind of got to me and uh, kind of threw the whole thing off. But it didn't throw it off too much. And then also the problem, like I said, is that they just gave me popcorn chicken on a, on a bun, you know? That's how it looked. That was disappointing look also. So, you know, the next time I get some uh, gator, I'm trying to get it a different way. I'm trying to get it in an area where they, that's what they do. So like, Louisiana or um, somewhere in Florida. Uh, that's the only places I, I associate Gator with, so. Um, that's what I'm trying to, that's what I'm trying to get it at next time, instead of doing it so far up north. And then possibly guys don't know what the hell they're doing and they ruin it for me. But uh, other than that, I had a good time there. It was hot, I still had my gear on. So I had to take a break. You know, initially my head was getting extra hot so I had to take the helmet off, get myself a break. You guys missed out on some ladies. I tell you that, I tell you what. You missed out on a lot of ladies that I saw after I took my helmet off, and I was like, man. And then you ladies, I guess you probably missed out on some guys that I might have saw, but I wasn't paying them that much mind. Um, but it was cool. Was it worth $20? Uh, mm, maybe not. Because it's not like you pay $20 and then you get like a certain amount of food you can eat. If you pay $20, screw you. I'm sorry, no. You pay $20 and then you have to go to each uh, place you want to get some food. And then, um, and then pay for that too. So you, you're, you're paying a lot of money. So I paid, in total, I paid. 20 to get in and around uh, maybe close to 30 on food getting three different things so that's the problem with that so was it worth 20 I don't think so um, I wasn't that excited about the music it wasn't bad but I wasn't that excited about it and all the um, 
all the extra like entertainers, the dancers and stuff like that. It wasn't that great either, so oh well. But uh, that's it for today. It is getting dark and I'm probably sure this video doesn't look all that great. I mean, there's a bunch of lights near me, but you know, this camera does not work too well during nighttime hours, so I'm gonna call it quits. Um, if you catch me on the streets, anywhere from here, Baltimore City, to China, to, to, to Japan, to the to the Himalayas in India if I got that wrong don't check me on it um, <clears throat> to uh, Russia to uh, to Kyrgyzstan Kyrgyz Kyrgyzstan to um, you know Brit Great Britannia um, if you catch me in any of those places in the streets Make sure that you definitely shoot me a heads up display. And if you don't know what a heads up display is, just check the end of the video. And my man Beeks, my man Beeko, he uh, he does it at the end. That's why I put that at the end of the video. But make sure you shoot me a heads up display. And I will talk to you guys later. Now watch this swing. Give me a head nut. Up. There you go.